Well, that's exactly what Britain just did. I just had to leave a business event I was at because I found out, oh my God, Brexit won. Leave won. UK is leaving the Euro, uh, the Eurozone. What in the world? The EU, everything. Now, I know they uh, obviously had not joined the currency. Uh, well, boy, do we know that because the pound is now all of a sudden at a 31 year low uh, because of the results. It is stunning. I, I can't believe what just happened. Uh, I'll tell you. So, look, I was for Remain. Um, I talked to Julian Assange earlier today. And, uh, and, and I think that as that conversation indicated, it was actually, a, um, a nuanced conversation and, uh, and it was not, it was a closer call than just simple as, no, don't leave under any circumstances. Because, uh, look, you know, you do lose some sovereignty and, and, and a lot of times all the business interests and the corporate interests, uh, want you to stay in a, in an organization like that and, they accrue more power that way, and I understand people's frustrations, etc. But there was such an ugly uh, tinge to the Leave campaign, so anti-immigrant. Uh, and besides which, it's going to have economic consequences already having them. On the other hand, now that it has happened, I mean, for better or for worse, and I, I hope that, it, that the worldwide revolution obviously heads towards the better, and that's what I want when I'm on Team Revolution. Um, but sometimes it heads in the wrong direction in some countries, and it goes uh, dangerously right wing. That certainly does happen, and and this was more of a right wing um, situation here in the UK. But as I say, there was a lot of liberals, very strong liberals, who were on the side of leaving. But either way, the revolution is afoot. This is a giant deal. This is not a little deal. So the UK saying we're not going to be part of the EU anymore is tip of the iceberg, and now it begins. Look, we've already had some uh, leftist parties that have gained power in a way that was unexpected in places like Greece. We've already had uh, right-wing parties gain powers in, in ways that were unexpected in Eastern Europe. Now, uh, UK leaves EU. We had Jeremy Corbyn rise in the UK at the same time as a largely right-wing uh, movement is... Uh, taking the UK out of the EU. So, and in, in the US, we've got Trump on the right, we've got uh, Bernie Sanders on the left. You know what that's telling you? People are sick of the system. They are crying out on all sides. Change it. Change it. Whatever you do, change it. And so that's what that this vote was about. So yes, there was a, people on the right who wanted to change it in the UK. Yes, there were people on the left who wanted to leave the EU in the UK, but there was also a portion of people in the UK saying, I'm for change. Any way you name it, I want change. So that was part of this vote here. And I think that's why we got the part of the reason we got the stunning results that we got. So, well, buckle up, everybody. Here comes change and here comes revolution throughout the world. So I, I don't mean instantly. I don't mean all of a sudden people are going to be doing you know, overthrowing barricades and setting up garrisons, et cetera. But look at the movements. The movements on the left and the movements on the right are real, and they're having tremendous consequences and results as we speak. So if you think that it's going to be business as usual, where the establishment is going to continue to win, well, that it's been like that for most of our lifetimes, but apparently no more. So as you might be a little freaked out by what happened in the UK, and I, and I wouldn't have voted that way. At the same time, you have to recognize people have had it enough. We've been crushed. We don't believe you anymore. And that'll be another interesting moment here because there was so much fear-mongering before uh, the vote. Oh, my God, if the, if the UK leaves, it'll be a disaster. Well, now we're going to find out. Is it really going to be a disaster or is it not going to be as disastrous as people think? So it is momentous. So this could be a turning point in history. Uh, look, I, I do the show every day. I, I've been doing it every day for 14 years. I don't call things uh, turning point in history lightly. Uh, we might be at one of those now. So like I said, buckle up. Here comes the revolution.